mom like, what's wrong with your hair? Why your hair look like that? And it's, oh, you got <laughs> Hello, everybody. All right. All right. Hello, we got some people on. Come on in, guys. We are getting ready to have a great conversation. This is going to be awesome. And you guys will be able to ask questions. If you want to ask questions too, we would love for you to ask a question. Okay. We have four people, so we don't get this to start. So I don't know if you guys can see, but we got on the Hold on, let me take this part off. We got on the same shirt too. It says everything I'm smuggling, y'all. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, for those of you who don't know, just about everybody on here knows. So I'm Demetria. This is my daughter Kiana. Okay. Um. And a special Mother's Day tribute um, because we know Mother's Day is coming up next Sunday. Sunday. Yes, next Sunday. That came quick, even though you know we got everything that's going on with the coronavirus or whatever. I was like, oh my gosh, it's here already. Um, so it's coming up very quickly. Hope you already got presents for your moms or whoever you're going to get presents for. But so we're coming to you to talk to you about our relationship, how we, how it started. So this is not my daughter by birth. Um, this is my daughter by marriage. This is my husband's firstborn child. And you are how old? 25. 25, y'all. I got a 25 year old. Um, and so I don't call her my stepdaughter. I call her my daughter. And so a lot of times when I tell people, yeah, you know, I have a daughter, um, she's 25. And those that knew me, you know, like when I was running or high school and college, they look at me and they'd be like, how do you got a 25 year old? And I use, and I'm like, no, it's by marriage. Um, but you know, so it's just my preference. I don't call her my stepdaughter. Um, but yeah, so this is my daughter. And so let's talk about how we met. Um, well, first of all, I don't think we met first. I think your dad told you about me, didn't he, or something? He kind of? told me he was going to be meeting a friend. Okay. It was like New Year's Eve or something. Yes. We were at his house. Okay. And that day we were going to her house. That night we were going to her house. And he was like, Oh, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. so you was ear hustling. Oh, yeah, I was like, I was in back seat. <laughs> okay, so uh, we were going to grandma's house, so I was like, yeah, this way. So wait, so wait, you got a date? Okay, oh, uh, who is lady? I mean, okay, we're gonna see. You. So uh, that's kind of how it went. He didn't tell me like, and I don't, were you there? 
Well, you did. You weren't there at grand, grandma's house. Mm-hmm. You were okay. Yeah, because I think you made honey bun cake. I made honey bun cake. Yeah. Really? No, I just made honey bun cake. Yeah, I remember right. you making it, and everybody was like, oh, honey bun cake. And right. then everybody was going off the chain about honey bun cake. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, that was the first time that you kind of heard about me, mm-hmm. right? Um, well, I, well, your husband, my, your dad had told me, you know, like I have two daughters. Um, he told me your name was Kiana, and then there was Christian or whatever. Um, and I don't think we met. I can't remember the exactly first time we met, but I do want to talk about this one interaction that we had. <laughs> so one of the first. <laughs> Y'all see that face, right? So, one of our first interactions, guys, was um, we went to the movies, okay? So, um, for you as dad, for me as husband. So, um, he took us to the movies. I don't know what we were going to see. I don't know. I don't remember. So, we're going to the movies, right? Um, we all rode together, and I think by then we had already met each other. Um, we we were mad. I remember meeting you, meeting you right. at Orlando Blast. Okay, okay. Really, we weren't married yet. Mm-hmm. No, because who did I come with? I don't remember. But anyway, so that's how we met, men. But listen, y'all, listen to this interaction. So we went to the movies. He was taking us to the movies. And so we get up to the counter. Okay. And at this time, I think she was like 15, something like that. Like 15, between 14 and 16 or whatever. And so anybody that knows me knows I love popcorn. Okay. I love popcorn. Do you like popcorn? Do you like it? Love it. Love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. So I love popcorn. So um, we were going up, and so Dad was like, "So what do you, what are you guys gonna get?" I was like, um, "Well, I want to get, some, you know, let's get some popcorn." And she was like, "Well, I'll get some, some other, I want some popcorn too." I was like, "But I don't like a lot of butter." She was like, "Well, I like a lot of butter." <laughs> I was like, "Okay." Um, I was like, "Okay." Um, and I could tell that she was doing it just to be whatever. She was like, "Well, I like a lot of butter." And I was, so then I was like, well, I don't like a lot of butter. And we was going back and forth. <laughs> and she, oh, see, she don't remember. And so her dad was looking like, really, y'all? Really? <laughs> y'all going back and forth about some popcorn? popcorn? So we ended up getting the popcorn. I got my own popcorn. <laughs> and she got her own popcorn. I don't know if she ate all hers. Uh, I highly doubt that I did. You see that? She highly doubt that she ate all her popcorn. I know I ate all mine. Because when I go to the movies, that's what I want. I had my husband go to the movies just to get me some popcorn before. Mm. Movie popcorn is good. Um, but anyway, so that was one of our first interactions is that we went to the movies and I could tell that she was kind of like, I just want to do this because I just, I don't know. Um, so. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> That was that was the old, that was the old Kiana. <laughs> so um, and then after that, pretty much, you know, of course, we were married. Um, and the biggest thing that I remember most was that um, we got me and Dad got married, and then soon after that, he had to go to Afghanistan. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you lived in I was in Charleston, in Charleston. right? And so during the summers. That means that she was in Charleston and then, you know, we were in Columbia, but her but dad was in Afghanistan. And so we always went to Orlando Blast and stuff like that. And so one of the big my biggest things is that um, one of my biggest things is that I always wanted to still make sure that's Micah talking about who that woman <laughs> on the right with all that hair. But one of the things that I always wanted to make sure of is that even though her dad was in Afghanistan, I always wanted to make sure that she got a chance to still be around her family. You know, so kind of talk about kind of that's her daughter in the background. You're going to get to that. But can you kind of talk to that about, you know, dad was in Afghanistan, um, but we always try to make sure that we got, I always try to make sure that I got you and make sure that you were around family. Like, how did that make you feel to know like, okay, you know, 
she still wants you know to come get me so i'm giving yeah. my family and stuff um uh I, as far as that goes i think that um i didn't have an issue with it because i was still visiting my family mm -hmm. i think by then y'all were married yeah so it wasn't like a well i'm just gonna go stay with her by herself it was mm -hmm. uh and then we had brit by then too right so mm -hmm. i was visiting my family so it really wasn't it really wasn't a big difference or to me a big deal um right. with especially with dad be gone and then us spending a lot of time together mm -hmm. so it wasn't it wasn't that bad and i also spent a lot of summers with like auntie nikki and right. serene and then so it was still like i still got to see my family still um visited every summer so it wasn't yeah i still had a good time right. Cause that was my biggest thing. Even though your dad was in Afghanistan, I still wanted to make sure that, you know, you had the opportunity to um, be with your family. Did y'all get y'all tea? We got us some tea. Um, so how do you think, um, so then the next, so then the next thing was that um, you graduated high school. Um, you started off at a school there in, in, Charleston. in Charleston. Yeah. Um, what did you start there? I'll, I'll do it for you. Uh, I started there uh, at Trident Tech. Okay. Yeah, I spent a year, a year there uh, pursuing my degree in nursing okay. at the time. So, um, and then, um, I did really good. Actually, when I graduated high school, my GPA was not all that great. Okay. But at my first semester, first years of college, mm -hmm. I had like a 4.2. Okay. So it was like, how can I graduate and, and, you know, and do better in college? And do better in college okay. than in high school. Mm -hmm. But either way, um, after that semester, I moved up here, I think. Yep, I moved right. up here in June. So she ends up moving to. <laughs> Yeah, on a whim, which was, which was terrible to my mom because like I told her in like May, hey, I'm moving to, to Fayetteville. And she was like, what? She was so upset. She was mad for years wow. about that. Um, but me and dad, Go ahead. I'm sorry. me and dad was talking and he and like, I just telling, and telling you and you need to follow. And telling you, and so was this something that you had been thinking about? Um, before high school or before I graduated high school? No, no, but um, but after I graduated, that was like, what you gonna do for life? Mm -hmm. year, try it out for a year, and if you don't like it, you know, you just go back. Right, my mom, and I said, Okay, you know, I'll try. It. I've never lived with my father, um, you know, permanently, so I was like, Well, I'll try it and I see how it is. And so that was like, graduated in May of 2012. I moved here in June 2013. I finished the semester, and then so May and June, it was like a month, or three. right? So we had only just been moved here because we moved here in Fayetteville, North Carolina in like 2012. So you came like maybe a year or so after, yeah. So just um, imagine we had just moved here to start ministry, my husband and I, in 2012. And so then we had Brit, um, mm -hmm. and then our daughter, um, you were by that time, you were how old? You were like, she was like 19, 17, 18, 19, something like that. And she decides that she's going to move up mm -hmm. here. So she moved up here and um, started going to school. What school did you start off at? I was finishing my nursing degree. I said, well, I'll finish the tech school thing and right. transfer to a four-year, mm -hmm. do that path. And then um, I did that well. But after like a year mm -hmm. of doing nursing, I did my CNA. And I was like, I don't like this. I don't, okay. I don't like to watch old people. Oh, oh, my gosh. gosh. God. Really? Don't <laughs> miss the people. That but it just wasn't your thing. No. And so then you ended up going to then I went to Methodist Methodist University. After that university and I changed my degree. Because okay. I really had like a yeah, I was like, what do I actually want to do? Right. Um, and I always wanted to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. So before that, my mom was like, you need to go be a nurse. So I was like, I don't know. 
but it wasn't what I actually wanted to do. So my question to you is you moved here and you started pursuing, you know, um, you know, college, you know, some different things in college. Mm -hmm. And then you started um, helping us with ministry. Mm -hmm. Looking back now, what do you, how do you feel about the decision moving here um, and where it's put you in ministry and just the different things that you've learned and how you have evolved as a young woman now mm -hmm. and a woman now? Uh, moving here, it gave me a different kind of freedom. Okay. I'm um, not saying where I'm from, there wasn't freedom, but right. I had to change because where I was from, we is a different, completely different denomination than where we were non denominational. There we went to a, a across the church, so it's, it's a little different. Okay. So but when I came here and I, um, and we had all worship services and just you had to grow up. So would you say that moving to Fayetteville made you kind of grow up in an instance mm -hmm. um, and learn new things and do new things? You mm -hmm. know, even though you didn't stay on campus, you stayed with us. But can you tell the viewers some of the responsibilities that you had while living here? Mm -hmm. And me as, you know, you know, I'm not ever trying to be I've never tried to be take the place of her mom. Not at all. But I'm her mom. <laughs> But I mean, being here, and I at the time Adam was here too. Yeah. So we also had um, he's like a son to us, Adam. And so there were responsibilities and stuff that they had. And just as a mom, and as my husband, as a father, as a as a woman, and her here with me, I wanted to show her some things, you know, with her living here, so that one day when she got married, when she had kids, and all things like that, that she would understand some of the things um, that, yeah. huh? Right. And at the time, um, at the time, I can definitely say someone said the time on um in and out when you when you talk it's up a little more. Um, but at the time, sometimes the things that we would do, she'd be like, Oh gosh. So kind of tell them some of the different things that as a mom that I was trying to instill or some of the things that we would do. Um uh, let's see. Well me and I don't really kind of bounce off each other. Um, he would be like trash and put out dishes, uh, bathrooms, um, um just mm -hmm. different chores around the house. And I was like, hey, all these chores every week. I got a bag for my boots every week. And, it, every week. and it was a list. We there were things list. that you had to buy and he had to buy. Yeah. Yeah. Like paper towels, paper towels yeah. tissues, that kind of stuff. And I was like, I can go to my own house. <laughs> yeah. So it was just a thing of showing responsibility that, you know, learning how to manage your money and learning yeah. how, like, when you get ready to get married, I remember I had started making this list and I was like, okay, you need to, on Wednesdays, you need to clean this room or this bathroom or whatever. And so I can remember once she got married, she's saying, like, I understand that. Like, you know. The reason behind the list and the different things, you know, that, you know, we had her doing. So um, then she ended up getting married. Okay. She met her. Where'd you meet your husband at? I met him at the University of Ohio State because I transferred to Fayetteville State. Okay. Um, and we had a and he was a yeah, I didn't know what to do. He can still be loud. And, and I'm not. Well, we have to be that loud. We're working. Okay. And so, I like he still like he still does, and I'm just like, I've seen him before. Okay. He still just like he was with too. And so we decided we started talking for a musician. Okay. And we actually needed a musician. We did at the time. So I was like, well, we need a musician. We need to play. Do you really play or just a little bit play? Uh -huh. And so he said, well, come, I'll play in the chapel, and you can see for yourself. So, you know, 
Well, we're doing something else. We weren't dating or nothing yet, but we were, but we weren't um, then. And so he goes to the house and he came to the church that Sunday. Okay. And coming to church. Well, I say he 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 don't know that he was and how free we are. Is that that we were dating and then we got married. So um when would you say I think that it's kind of the same story for me. So um growing up, me and my mom, I mean we had a good relationship, you know, usually moms and you know, at some point teenagers go back and forth, whatever. But me and my mom really got close when I got married. And like from we came back to the day my mom called her every single day. Mm-hmm. Um, if I don't call her, she's like, hey, you know, she said that. I mean, we always had a, we, you know, it started off, you know, we were like, oh, whatever. That I mean, because we used to go shopping together, we used to do things like yeah. that together that moms do together. Um, but where would you say that you think that our relationship really like got stronger and grew? Like, I can remember one. Um, we were in our own house, and I um, pulled her in our room, and there was a conversation that me and her had. And we cried together. I remember those certain moments. Um, but it was a certain topic. We were talking about it. And I was like, just be honest with me, just be open and honest. And we talked about it. And we cried together and we hugged each other. Um, and so I think that that was a moment for us where we really would get um, too. But what would you say? Um, I think it was when you got married. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. Okay. I when I got married, it was like, okay, let me call my mom. Right. Some advice for certain married people, some people longer married longer. And I'm going to tell her. So it was, um, I have to trust you. Mm-hmm. Telling you things. Yeah. <laughs> Getting the truth for me. Like, okay. Okay. Is it me or is it him? That's what I mean. Okay. And you would always give me the truth, but to me, you try to you try to be a little mm-hmm. But you see the doing something different. Oh, right. different again. So still I still have to what what do I do? What right. should I do? And I love the fact that we have um and the one of the things that I love is because um Kiana's mom and I we have Mom can talk. Yeah. Um, we have a relationship. We can tell each other the truth. So, but the one thing that I love is that my relationship with you is different than it is with your mom. There may be some things that I mean, you might be able to talk to your mom about everything, but I think that there are some things you talk to your mom about that you may not talk to your mom. And so I think that it's I think it's a great thing. And me and her mom give each other space. Of course, mm-hmm. I give her space, and her mom gives me space to be that other person um, in her life. Yeah. Um, and so, but I do think that was one of the moments is when she got married that we really a lot closer. Um, I would call her and check on her. And like, hey, so how's it going? You've been married for two days. <laughs> You've been married for a week. Yeah. Check up or something. Okay. You guys doing? You know, like each other. Right. And and okay, so I do want to talk about. This. I think this is good because it came. To Um, are her and her husband's pastors. But we also did marriage counseling with them. So can you talk about the marriage counseling aspect and how do you think um, I think, but I want to hear from your perspective, do you think that we were able to draw the line from parents and pastors and talk to you guys in a way like, okay, we know we're your parents, but we're talking to you from the pastor side and able to draw the line. Very excellent at being able to distinguish yes, for your parents, or they can even say, okay, we dad right now, and then mom, but they still see 
the tutorials are. Right. Right. And it can probably be kind of hard and kind of different because we are mom and dad. So now let's dive into, okay, so we talked about our relationship as mom and daughter. Let's dive into you are a new mommy. So, um, tell everybody about your new experience. Um, it's very different. Okay. Uh, it's actually, it's really more like I was thinking. I thought it would be like, like, oh my God. It's weird seeing you know, like, I still feel like I'm, I'm, I'm 25. I still feel like I'm really young. I'm still kind of a kid. But anyway. I thought when people were going, oh, you have a baby, you must have changed dramatically, you're going to mature, and I feel it, I have. But um, I thought I'd be really tired, I thought I'd be beat down. You know, some people look really rough after they have a baby. Mm -hmm. It feels really rough. I didn't go through postpartum. Some things that other mothers go through. Right. So, um, but I had a wonderful support system. I had y'all. Micah and and everybody. So um, I just thought that I would be like down and out. So how does it feel being a mom? We're talking about how we have great kids on top of our heads. So you got eight siblings, y'all. Yeah, four on each side. Okay, eight. And then five. So she was kind of like my trial and error. Yeah. So she got me ready. Um, so I really don't feel like I'm unprepared for being right. It's not the TV. I don't remember that stage with, with the okay. So we're getting into that because she's getting some how many so um tell everybody your daughter's name. Rayon 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 Yes, of course, yes. yes. Yeah. What would you say is the most gratifying or the most promising or the most amazing thing about being a mom? Um, that I know that she needs me. Like, I can feel when she loves me when she wants mom. Okay. Like, when I walk in the room, I say, oh, come here. <laughs> so that, that's and then when she sleeps, when she sleeps, you know, when she first came in, she was like, it's my kid. And then she's like, right, so it just makes my heart melt. Oh, so okay. it's just like, oh, I have to so much. <laughs> so it's like, it's gratifying. It's like, oh my God, this yeah. is my baby. Okay, so what is something that you're like, oh my God, I was not ready for this part of motherhood? Uh, the screaming. The screaming. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's she's screaming like crazy. I don't really expect the right. Really right. Really that she would be a screamer. A screamer. Okay. Very expressive. Okay. Very. Well, I can see that because for that, so we can definitely see that. Yeah. Well, maybe she's gonna sing. Mm -hmm. That's good. I think that one of the things that is so um, tell them about the first time that you all put her in the crib. Oh, oh God. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Right. No, it's probably like two or three weeks. Yeah. Um, Right. So, I'm like, so I'm in the bed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Are you breathing? I'm not sleeping. I'm breathing monitor and everything. I'm watching it like it was on TV or something. And so the next day, I'm like, no, she didn't need me. I was like, girl, she didn't need you. So now, so she, so she's still been sleeping in there. How's she doing? Sleeping in it. She, she reminds me of that. She goes right back to sleep. Yeah. And I, that, that probably ain't as comfortable. Right. So, um. What are what is something that you're looking forward to as being a mom? What's the next thing that you're looking forward to as being a mom? Um, yes. So, do you guys want more kids? Uh -huh. uh, maybe one more. Okay. Just uh, because I don't want to like back in diapers, I can't do it. I don't want to be able to allow Raylan to feel like she's loved. To feel whole right away. Mm -hmm. for her for her to have to care. Like, everyone's saying that they can't really hear you. Okay. So we need you to speak a little louder. Just a little bit. Um, so we're all together and we're all together and we're together. But um, we're all together and we're all together. But 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 we're all together and we're all Well, the teachers, they have a sign, it's not for whatever. After that, I'm not having no more. Like, right. Um, so we talked about our relationship. Um, we talked about um, how our relationship evolved, how we first met each other, but how we married, it um, got a lot of weeks. Um, the story is one of the things that I have seen you evolve. Um, being, you know, young, you know, in college, um, and now to the point where you are a mom, you are a wife, you cooking dinner, you got a baby, you got a husband, um, and you have matured over the years. You know what I'm saying? You just matured and matured and you are doing your own thing, working, having all these awesome things. And not only that, even in ministry, um, praying and worship team and a leader, and just, you know, evolving into what God has called you to be and who you're supposed to be. Because one day, you know, some things that God showed you, and of course, your mom has shown you, you're going to be doing this too. Like, you're going to be a part of like even when you were living here, like I used to be like, hey, yeah. show you how to make this. Yeah. You know, let me show you how to make this. Room clean, or you know, kitchen clean. Even though this is not here, I'm still doing it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the child, uh, and you're not a child, but you're just saying, yeah. as my daughter, daughter, that them words of wisdom on how to go about um, building a strong relationship with um, the mother that may not be your biological mom. Um, It does. Yeah, you go ahead. And, um, not so much mom or dad, depending on who it is. But, uh, yeah. 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 We also have our own relationship. Really different than the relationship I have with my mother. So. Business. And they do they do small small orders, big orders, mm-hmm. but um, uh, I started there and my uncle is an owner and I was like, I I and um, what was I doing that? It was a good deal. And that was two years ago. I was like, I don't know. 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 Well, we can say that for uh, 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 Up, right. Two years, mm-hmm. but because I have to right. 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 Very long. Right. So it's called Ray of Sunshine. Say that again. Ray of Sunshine. Ray of Sunshine. Personalized customization. Okay. okay. T shirts, onesies, and peacocks. Um, Notebooks, water bottles. Uh, okay. Or uh, as long as it's kind of Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah. Yeah. Coming up from yeah. Um, and then 
So please don't go to Ray of Sunshine. That's on Facebook. Remember Kiana Turner, K E A N A Turner, um, and look her up. Um, and whatever it is that you need to look in general, yeah, in general, a lot of people are ordering graduation, graduation, yes, the graduation. virus, you know, right. you know that's so exactly still, right. They still want to get something personalized done for their the child of that one. I've had a lot of graduation orders. So please don't forget, Ray of Sunshine, go to the Um, but thank you for look out because we got some. I got some other things that we will be doing. We got a special segment coming up. On the day. You see a flyer coming out. Uh, special segment. I have a segment that we coming out on Tuesday. All the things that we have going on that we can be doing. She's not my biological daughter, but she is my daughter. Um, how our relationship evolved, and her being a new mom, and her so many different things that I've had. So please go to like Ray of Sunshine and go to Paramount Fitness at Champions Mindset. And so I will see you guys back here on.